What is up, guys? What is up, guys? Rita here with Flipping Clean Cars. I just got done doing some AC work on one of my trucks. I'm back in the office right now. I'm just gathering some documents together. I got a safety audit coming up here. But uh, since this channel is all about cars and making a little bit of pocket money, I uh, thought I thought I'd share with you this, uh, this interesting way of making a little bit of uh, pocket money. Before I get into this video, this is 100% legit. It is possible to make 55 grand on um, commission on what I'm about to explain to you. But uh, that being said, um, there is some gray areas. Some it is legal, but then it's not legal. It's, it's in it's a bit weird. I'll explain that to you in just a little bit. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So a little while ago, I came across this ad right here. It uh, offered top paid commission for brand new vehicles that you would purchase at a dealership and um, you would drive it off the lot and right next to the dealership a truck would be waiting they pick the vehicle up you know you, know, you will never hear of uh, that vehicle again so i made contact with the ad and once they replied they offered 25 grand for a lunchbox aka g550 wagon and for a Toyota Sienna, a couple thousand bucks. Now in the ad, it stated it's, it is looking for a couple vehicles. Once I realized there's a few thousand bucks to be made, I contacted one of my friends who worked at a Mercedes dealership as a salesperson. And he explained to me that most of these vehicles that are for sale or that are being bought and there's a commission on top of that from a third party are most likely SUVs, you know, G550, GLE, SUV type vehicles. And those vehicles are all getting exported to China. For example, now this is not a Mercedes, but just to give you a price perspective, a brand new Range Rover costs about 88,000 US in the States, and it starts at about 240,000 US dollars in China. And I've heard the GLE 450 SUV, which you can get about 120, 130,000 Canadian in, the, in Canada, costs about 320 to 360,000 US dollars in China. Now my buddy also explained to me that Whenever somebody would come inside and he would assist them in purchasing a SUV uh, Mercedes, once everything's said and done, he made them sign the, uh, the contract and they put the down deposit down. They have to go through a manager and the manager is trained to sniff out those straw buyers. Now a straw buyer is someone who buys something on behalf of another person in order to avoid legal restrictions or enable fraud. That being said, when you purchase a brand new SUV, and they approve you, the manager approves you, they have you sign a non-export agreement. Meaning, you as a buyer, you cannot export this vehicle out of the country. These companies out there, they use those straw buyers to have them go inside, buy a brand new vehicle, and they would buy it from you, and then they would export it. So it's a little bit of a gray area there, and uh, people get sued from doing that, but the case gets dropped and uh, the buyer is cleared. Now it's kind of hard for me to explain guys, but there's an article here that I found from the guy himself who uh, bought a bunch of luxury vehicles and uh, exported them out to China. Now I'll post that uh, link in the description below. Have a read, it's a pretty cool story. So back in the day when I found the ad, I actually, I never went into a dealership and attempted to purchase a vehicle just because my buddy said it's most likely that you won't get a vehicle, uh, you won't get approved. I would have to come in with my dad and pretend it's going to be a family vehicle and then actually purchase uh, the vehicle and then get the commission that way. He said there's many times there's little guys, little shits like me coming in there and then wanting to buy, wanting to buy a, you know, GL, like GL 550, like one of those lunch boxes and the manager would pretty much just laugh at them and say, fuck out of here with that bullshit. That being said, I threw an ad out online stating that I'm looking for these straw buyers since I thought back in the day, $55,000 commission for a GLE um, SUV for the black edition, I figured I'm going to pay the guy $35,000 and I'm going to keep the rest. Three weeks later, a guy named Robert calls me up. He was from Toronto and just so happened that this guy actually bought three vehicles in the past three months and his commission was a $35,000 $35, commission. Now we got talking and I eventually told him that I'm just the middle guy and he asked me what my guy would pay for a GL, GLE 450, I believe it was, an SUV. And I told him it was $55,000. Long story short, I gave the guy his number and uh, I don't know what happened after that. I've never heard back from him. 
But if he got three vehicles and got $35,000 commission on one vehicle, this thing makes it legit. Now, what type of commission can you expect from purchasing such a vehicle? Just to give you a general idea, for a Toyota Sienna, and they want specific specs on those Siennas, it's about a thousand to two thousand bucks. Now, if you get a GLE 43 AMG, the commission is somewhere between five thousand to eight thousand, and the top commission paid on any of those vehicles is the lunchbox, the G Wagon 550. They want specific specs on that as, uh, that as well, but the commission on that thing is fifty-five thousand. Now, they're really hard to get, so that's why the commission is up there. Now, that being said, do your research on this thing. It is legit. People do it all over the country, I want to say. Now, the penalties are there. Some guys are getting sued, you know. I don't know. Do your own research. I'm not responsible for anything that you do. I know Range Rover, for example, if you buy a brand new Range Rover, they have you leave a $20,000 deposit towards the vehicle that you get back after a week. So, not after a week, after a year. So you would have to bring this car in there regularly, you know, for services and such. Just because when a car goes beyond 200 kilometers, it's not considered new anymore. And these guys, you know, when I got talking to him, like the exporter, they're looking for vehicles under 200 kilometers. Now, after a year, Land Rover pays you back to 20,000. That's just saying that you didn't export this vehicle, here's your 20 grand back. Now, how I came across making this video in the first place was about two weeks ago, I shipped two brand new Porsches, Porsche, whatever you want to call them, Macons, I think that's what they're called, two brand new. Uh, they were actually going to a exporter, the man himself, and he had a full warehouse full of like luxury vehicles, Mercedes and such. And I talked to him and he said that for a G550, the commission on that thing is, as a matter of fact, 55 grand, he pays you 55 grand. Now the other guys, the message that I sent you, uh, that I showed you earlier, those are the middle guys that eventually, you know, that what I wanted to do, like be the middle guy for the straw buyer and then sell it to the exporter. So very likely, you know, the 25 grand, he gets 55 or he gets 50 grand, he's gonna pocket 25 grand, 30 grand, and you keep the rest. So the man himself told me, so the man himself told me that there actually is a $55,000 commission on such vehicles, which makes this thing legit. And that is it. I hope you liked this video. If you liked, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I gotta get a bunch of stuff ready. I got a new contract for the second truck, the second car hauler. So I've been getting stuff ready and the safety audit that has something to do with that thing. Once I got that thing ready and on the road, I'm gonna be making more interesting videos. Stay tuned.